Hello everyone, we are live. Hey, it's Christy and Jen with the Christy Reese Group down here at our world headquarters in beautiful downtown Grand Junction, Colorado. Six feet apart. Yes, we are. Yep. Uh, enjoying this beautiful day. It's a little cloudy, but hopefully we're getting some more snow. I know. I'm excited about that. We need that moisture. We're ready to ski. Good I know snow at Powerhorn right now. Yeah, they yeah. had some good snow over the weekend. Really excited. Talked to Ryan Schramm up there yesterday and He's taking a few turns and checking him out, checking it out himself, and uh, he said things are going really well. So, yeah, look forward to getting some more snow up there. So, uh, you want to talk about? Yeah. Well, the big news in Mesa County this week is that the COVID nineteen vaccine has arrived. That's very exciting for our community. Certainly, we're we're ready for everything to get back to some sense of moving forward and moving on through this. And we want to thank our healthcare workers who have worked oh my so tirelessly through the year. Yep. Right. And um, yeah, thank goodness. Thank the maker. And we're, we're you know, really hopeful for the economy to rebound as quickly as uh, as, yeah, as it seems to already have started to. Yes. And uh, looking forward to having restaurants filled to the brim and yeah. bars and people out making merry uh, yes. and just as soon as possible. And hugging. I miss hugging. Oh, it's right. Me. I know. And, yeah. and can't wait to really shake hands with people and just get close. Yeah. yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, okay, speaking of the holidays, can you believe it's Christmas is next week? Uh, amazing. Are you I, ready? I, I think I'm almost ready. I have a few more downtown gifts to buy today. I've really enjoyed uh, going down to the shops on Main Street and all over downtown and buying goodies for people on my team and people at home. There's and, a whole table right behind us. Right? You probably can't see it. Yeah, I bet you can. It's way back there, but yeah, we're, we're in wrapping mode here. At the Christie Reese Group. So. Elf mode. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's Suzanne, yeah. our favorite elf. Yep. 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 Um, so our offices will be closed December 23rd through 25th, and then again on December 31st and January 1st. So you won't be seeing us on Keeping It Real because Christmas is on Thursday. So uh, unless you really want to see me in my jammies. <laughs> keeping I, it real at home. Right. Keeping uh -huh. it real at home. Mm -hmm. Jammies and hot cocoa mm -hmm. at home on Christmas. No, we'll skip that. So uh, we'll be Hashtag back in a time. <laughs> Hashtag flannel time. <laughs> Love it. Yes. We'll be back in a couple weeks. But uh, if you have any questions that you want answered in the new year, feel free to post a question here on our Facebook page or on Instagram or anywhere else you can find any members of the Christy Reese group. And we're happy to answer real estate questions for you. That's a great idea. Our social media elves are, are always on. So always working. Mm-hmm. Always paying attention. Hey, can we talk about the stat, the state of housing right now? How things are looking? Yes. Unprecedented. Unprecedented here in Mesa County. Boy, our listings are so low. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Today, 348 active homes on the market, and a lot of those are manufactured homes. So, uh, just super low inventory and uh, not enough for people to buy. Yeah, that's been the story of the year, um, and it's it's. We're hoping that if you've thought of selling your home, now is a great time. We're preparing for spring. Um, the valley is going to turn pretty quickly in terms of weather and uh, yeah, we want to be ready with you. So that's, it's, people are trying to, we're flipping over rocks right now for folks who are looking for homes to buy. Yes. Um, along with, well, we'll just keep going with some stats and then we'll talk about an economic update that we uh, attended this week. So uh, 348 active homes on the market, 128 homes went pending in the last 30 days. Uh, sold year to date 3,140 homes and here at the Christie Reese group we are going to hit 400 transactions tomorrow. Tomorrow. 400th closing tomorrow which is just crazy. It's of course our best year ever which we're so surprised about. I mean when COVID hit back in March you can imagine how we felt. I mean uh, all of the agents here are on commission and we thought Boy, everybody brace for the worst. We yeah. are all going to uh, not be able to make our mortgages and we're going to have to lay off employees. And thankfully, we got a PPP loan to get us through that time. But uh, it's been an incredible year here in Mesa County real estate. And we're so thankful to be able to have helped people find homes and sell homes. Yeah, all year. families who have needed to transition for yeah. various reasons. But uh, I think my closing tomorrow is going to be our 400th. So, yeah. So excited. And, and that's family served for us, right? That's that's us as advocates supporting families, and it just is so meaningful. Yeah, it yeah. really is. So thank you to all of our clients. Uh, home of the week. 
2901 Arabesque Drive. You know a little bit about this one. I do. This is a spec house that I'm building in the northeast. It is uh, 1671 square feet, three bedroom, two bath. It's on a corner lot. It's got beautiful views to the monument and uh, the price is 370,000. It is in framing stage. So uh, we've got quite a few new construction homes coming up in that northeast area. So if you have a need and you're looking for something in the mid to high threes, that's our price range that we're building out there right now. So give us a call at the Christie Reese Group. We'd be happy to give you information on 2901 Arabesque or any other of our new homes coming up. And that corner lot has amazing views of the monument. It really does. Amazing yeah. views. Unstructed. Yeah, surprising. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's the future site of the new interchange with I-70. So that's going to be a whole little activity center right there. It is, great and access. great access to I-70. So wherever you need to hop on the freeway and get to, it'll be easy, easy from that location. Quick to ski. This Quick time next year. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Uh, you know, we should just offer a free uh, Rocky Mounts ski rack with any purchase of a home at the Oh, are we That's getting that on idea. record right now? I'll do it with mine. Wow. 2901 Arabesque, free ski rack from Rocky Mounts. That's like newsflash. Right? Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, I don't know how many of our viewers were able to attend the CU Business Economic Outlook, which was sponsored by the Grand Junction Chamber and I think GJEP also. Yeah. But they do this every year, and Richard Wobekind, who's an economist from CU, talks about the state of the state. And he really dives deep into all the different sectors uh, and government and different regions of Colorado. So it's super informative. County by county. County by county and region by region, yeah. So uh, you want to talk about some of the things that he noted in there? Yeah, Mesa County is just, the, the, the takeaway is that Mesa County is really winning. Um, we're fortunate here. We're the, we're the highest, um, I guess, celebrated economy in the state right now. Um, mm -hmm. We've done very well. Yes. And it sometimes doesn't feel like that, but by the numbers, we actually are. So when you talk about um, our average unemployment rate is right around 3.4%. And uh, we are lower than the state right now, which is at 6.2, and we're lower than the nation right now, which is 7.7. .7. We're at 5.7% right now, so we're really a couple points from where we are normally. Thank goodness. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness. Mm -hmm. so. And one of the things that he pointed out was uh, that statewide there are going to be a lot of layoffs in government positions because so many... Uh, municipalities and other government entities are short on their revenues, but not Mesa County. Yeah. We're looking really good here, so hopefully no job losses in that sector for us. We've brought on some new companies as well, so with GJEP and the Chamber, we've brought on, um, particularly with GJEP, five businesses that have relocated here during the pandemic in the course of 2020, uh, 2020 yep. Um, one in software, in tech, and the other four in outdoor rec, which is our big theme, of course, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. embracing our outdoor rec heritage yeah. and story. Well, and, and history shows that um, a recession or a downturn in the market is a great time to invest and get ready for the next upswing. And that's what we're doing here at the Christie Reese Group. Uh, as many of you know, we are going to be moving our offices down to the Las Colonias area into the new Bonsai building. And we went toward it yesterday, which was really fun. So it's great to see some things going on down at the riverfront. And we're really excited about being part of that growth down there. Yeah. Um, Lots of dirt moving at Dos Rios. Yeah, I'll break ground on my project in oh June. Gosh, actually, that's exciting. Bumping up. Yep. Yeah, yeah. There's a Come lot soon. going on. Mm -hmm. um, and along in the in that economic outlook, of course, they discussed the uh, need for housing and the demand that's going on in Colorado. But we feel it so much here in Mesa County, and we just don't have enough houses to sell. So. We are working on some projects. We're trying to get uh, some new construction going. We're trying to work on some developments. We got all kinds of irons in the fire, just trying to bring more housing to the people that want to live here in Grand Junction and um, some affordable options too, which is really challenging right now. Construction costs have gone way up and with uh, appreciation going up because of the demand, it, it's a challenge, but we're, we're committed to bringing housing in all different price ranges. Yeah. So. The attainably priced housing is yeah, it's very important for us for first time gateway home purchasers and folks that are moving here that are uh, getting their feet wet in the community. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So when uh, Mr. Wobekind or doc, in my, he's probably a doctor, Dr. Wobekind was wrapping up, uh, you know, one of the things he mentioned was that Mesa County was on track to have an exceptional year before COVID hit. And uh, while the pandemic has had an impact on all aspects of the community, the county is recovering and outperforming other counties in the state and we would just continue to forge ahead in the face of adversity and
hopefully this is over soon. We, we know everybody watching hopes so too. Yeah. So go out, support your local businesses, support downtown, shop locally and dine locally. Please buy some uh, uh, gift cards to local restaurants. If anybody has really struggled through this uh, season that we've been having, it is the local restaurants. So I know they can use every bit of business that we can give them. So dine out, buy some gift cards, get yeah. some to-go food. Please support our local restaurants. Tis the season for takeout. Yes. Yeah. Who wants to cook? Cook on Christmas and and just get bin burgers and <laughs> and uh, tacos and hot tomato pizza and Pablo's pizza for the rest of the time. Yeah. All right, everybody. Uh, make sure you hit the follow button below this video so you'll be notified whenever we go live here at the Christie Reese Group. And as we talked about, we will be off for the next couple weeks because of the holidays, and we will see you in January. Oh, one other thing I want to mention. So we're going to be incredible. Yeah, we're going to yeah. be helping at least three nonprofits in January. So make sure you watch and nominate. That will give us that will get us close to hundred thousand dollars that we've donated. Close to. Close to. Pretty I mean, it, that will pay out in January. It will be from our funds from uh, yeah. this quarter, but it will not pay out till January. So. Yeah. 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 Amazing. Thanks, everybody. All right. Have a great day. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays. We love you. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.